about a year ago, I attempted to make an electric kayak. And I made it, but I wasn't quite happy with the results. So here I am, a year later, trying to put together all of my experiences to create something new. Let's make a water jet powered electric paddleboard. Well, they're finally here. I've been waiting for these to come in stock forever just to do this project, the infamous T20s. And conveniently enough, I have a design ready to go. So uh, let's get printing. While those print, let's solder. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna bore you with that. But I did connect up two ESCs and two motors. Those are gonna be wired up to the electronics box, which can be controlled by a Wii nunchuck with an Arduino. As a side note, I also have this battery box. It has a readout for the voltage and the capacity for four 5,000 milliamp hour six cells. But first, we gotta build the jets. So that's it, everything is assembled, right? We're all finished? Well, not quite. After some testing, and some more testing, and some ESCs down the drain, I figured I could make some improvements. First, I wanted to make sure that the waterproof cover on the top was actually waterproof. I redesigned the whole thing and made sure that it had seals on every side. Next, I did some iterating with the nozzles. I wanted to find the ideal reduction ratio and also wanted to incorporate sharper steering. I printed these new nozzles with a smaller layer height to try to minimize hydrodynamic inefficiencies as much as possible. Furthermore, adding better heat sinks to the ESCs ensured they didn't burn themselves out, which was a problem I was running into. Finally, I added some less notable features such as a bilge plug and some cover handles that double as a GoPro mount. I think now we're finally ready to test things out.
that was this summer. It's been a little over six months since I first started this project and I got a new job and I moved since then. So it's been put on the back burner, but I do anticipate returning to it, uh, maybe improve the propulsion system or adding better batteries for long range testing. We'll see. It is a toasty one degree outside and we just got a foot of snow. So I don't anticipate me going out to the lake and doing any more testing. But in the meantime, I have some other projects planned. And now that I have my life together a little bit more, I can do the things that I love, which is this. This project was a blast start to finish and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. And it was really rewarding to see the final product. I just wanna thank you for joining me along this journey. This is my first post to YouTube and I'm also really happy with the way this video turned out and uh, I'm excited for the future of this channel. So I really do appreciate you for watching this video and um, until the next one, see ya.